What's up guys? Welcome to the very first ever uh, series of My Two Cents. Now this is a series kind of about giving you my unfiltered opinion on different topics, subjects in the music business, music industry, uh, guitar, whatever it might be. And it's kind of kind of a most common questions, okay? Most uh, I, I'm, I'm like commonly asked questions, I guess. And so I get a lot of calls and messages at, of people, friends, followers, subscribers, whatever it may be, asking if they should cover music on social media and post it on social media, whether it be YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Those are like the big three or TikTok. Okay, I don't do TikTok, so disclaimer there. But should they do covers on YouTube, any social media. I'm going to tell you four reasons why I don't think it's a good idea. Of course, there are some exceptions, and we'll go through all of that in just a bit. Stay tuned. What's up, guys? Welcome back. So here is my first reason why you should not do YouTube covers, okay? Reason number one is that there are probably already a dozen to a hundred or hundreds of covers already done for that song that you wanna do. Unfortunately, it's, it's true. It's a saturated, uh, not a saturated market, but it's, a, it's very cliche, it's very saturated. If I had a dime for everyone that that's told me I want to do YouTube covers and get a, a you know a million subscribers I'd be you know a millionaire but it's just it's an oversaturated uh, video video search so I would stay away from that for that one reason on to reason number two so reason number two is I would rather listen to the real thing than hear you play it. No offense, I'm just giving it to you for real, okay? There are very, very um, rare exceptions, okay? Off the top of my head, I really like Weezer's Africa cover. However, compared to the original, they're like, you know, for me personally, I like them both a lot. Um, Weezer kept it really straightforward and very similar. So I like that. Um, they're both great. You know, they're both great. I wouldn't prefer one over the other. Um, however, another good one is just off the top of my head. Um, what's that song by Simon and Garfunkel? Um, Hello, Darkness, My Old Friend. What's it called? You know what, what I'm talking about. Disturbed did a version of it. Okay, and they absolutely killed it. So I would actually, in that case, I would prefer the cover over the original, but that is a one in a million shot, okay? So there's your reason. I would much rather listen to the original than you covering it. Number three, why, here's, here's my logic with number three. Why spend time learning a solo, right? So if I were to learn a guitar solo, it would take me, may, depending on the difficulty, I'm guessing maybe two hours, three hours. Why should I do that? Use up two to three hours of my time instead of writing something new. In two or three hours, I can get a lot done of writing original music. So here, here's like the big, the big answer, right? For me to learn a cover, I would have to spend that time doing that. I would have to record it, okay, either on a DAW or, well, I mean, yeah, on a DAW, right? And then I would have to video record it. So I have a camera here, lights, microphone, you know, the whole shebang. So it takes quite a bit. You know, you want the production level pretty good, especially if you're doing a cover. Uh, what's going to separate you? with that cover. You know, you don't want to just have a cell phone with a cell phone microphone, not good lighting, you know, the, that stuff. You want something, you want a good production, especially if you're doing a cover because you're competing with back to step number one. You're competing with dozens, if not hundreds of other 
people that have already covered this song. So my logic is I'd rather spend the two or three hours writing something, you know, getting the drums down, getting the bass down, the guitar parts, the harmonies down, all of that. I'd rather spend my time doing that on original music than I would be learning someone else's song and then having to set all this stuff up again to record someone else's song my take on someone else's and original step number song. four or not step number four <laughs> reason number four <laughs> i'm used to doing some tutorials here so reason number four is that when i as a as an artist independent artist i look to hire different musicians a lot okay i've hired different bass players, I've hired different drummers. Well, actually, I got my one drummer, Gio. You're my boy. Um, and then I hire a lot of different singers. Okay, I work with a lot, a lot of different singers. So when I'm looking for a singer, okay, I am very picky, as you should be. If I see this singer doing nothing but covers, it worries me because I don't, I don't, Think that this singer is as creative as someone who is doing pure original music. Now, that doesn't mean they're not creative, doesn't mean that they're not skilled. You know, I'm sure they're great. Okay, really. But me as an employer, I need to find someone that is very creative and can write or produce a lot of lyrics and a lot of their own melody lines without me guiding them. Okay, that's just how I work as an independent artist uh, when I send music out to singers. So they're more employable if they have original music. Now, if they have some covers and some original music, that's good. I can do that. Okay, that's not bad. I'm not saying never ever do covers. Okay, because I've done some covers. Very few, but I've done covers. Um... What I'm saying is you want to more focus on your original music than just covers. Also, covers are not monetizable on YouTube, okay? Something to think about. You cannot cover it, uh, I guess, verbatim on YouTube because then the algorithm hears it and then you get copyright strikes. So that's another reason, okay? So just be aware of that. So... Um, Overall, to sum everything at all, sum, summarize everything up. <laughs> um, I think that covers are good sporadically, okay? Do it here and there. For instance, I actually posted a cover today because it was the anniversary of Randy Rhodes' passing, okay? So I decided to post up a cover of me playing Crazy Train, okay? It's perfect. It, you know, there's I'm, I'm a guitar player. There's a lot of fans, obviously, watching my Instagram, and they see this cover of Randy Rhodes. So that that's cool. It sparks interest. Um, would I do a cover every day? No. Maybe a cover every six months? Sure. You know, why not? It might not be a bad idea, let's say, on uh, Carlos Santana's birthday to post up a cover. You know, not, not a bad idea. But... I think you should definitely focus on your original music and post little trailers of it here and there. Um, I think that's the best idea. That's what I was mentored with. That's what my mentors tell me. And, um, you know, it's just, just about being original. You know, we don't need, you know, a thousand Carlos Santanas out there. You know, we, we want, I want to hear who you are and not you trying to be someone else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, my own two cents on should you do covers on YouTube or social media. Please like and subscribe, check out my Instagram and Facebook. I've also written two books, uh, two guitar books, so if you guys wanna check them out, of course the link is down below, and check out some of my original music. That'd be awesome. Guys, until next time, I bid you adieu.
soñar, crecer y nadar, poder expresar lo que tengo aquí adentro. La inyección de la cura es el tiempo. Cada cicatriz, una historia en su memoria. 